Hi, good day. So we'll be revisiting the pick and place. But this time we'll be using a real object. So in this pick and place, we'll be we'll be going over some simple examples. And then we'll be going uh some application that we can implement this pick and place program into. So let's go over the code. Okay, there we go. Okay, so in this code, uh we'll start off at the main program where we will define our starting coordinate as well as our final coordinates where we want to place block. So in this pick and place will be I've set up a board playing board so that you can gauge where the coordinate and this will be the X coordinate and the Y coordinate and the Z will be the height and we'll be using this block as our sample for today. And this board is roughly 40 cm by 40 cm and this marking here the last one is 35 and it's uh incremental by 5 cm. So in this main program we have our starting and final coordinate and uh in this case we will be using the move post function where we will make use of the x y and z for the first three syntax as well as the uh the two role pitch and uh role pitch and your for the last three syntax. So uh after we have uh defined our coordinates our start and final co uh, coordinates uh we'll convert them into meters and radians because uh, the machine only accepts meters and radians and when you are working with uh meters and radius is uh very hard to gauge where you are so i like to use centimeters and decrease instead so you want to use that you have to convert you have to convert it using function that i have created uh feel free to pause the video if you're curious how i do it and please comment on the youtube section if there's an easier way to do it so after we have convert the data we will use the robot move post to actually uh, actuate the robots. So actually we can try. So for the first coordinate, starting coordinate, we'll have a 0 at x. So we'll have a 0 at x and then around 20 in the y, uh, in the y coordinate and then a height of 30. And then our, our n factors will have a, a row of uh, 90. Okay, let's just give it a try. Okay, so Nothing happened because we are already in that position. So let's change the to the end to the final position instead, so we can see it move. Okay, there we go. So we are currently at x equal to twenty, y equal to zero, and z. So let's now make our pick and place. So in the pick and place, you would want to move the infectors to the pickup location, which is here. And then we would want it to go down. So we copy paste the same, this uh, same four lines, and we have to duplicate it six times because we want to. You know, there will be six motion because we need to go down to pick up the boxes, and then go up uh, to a safer traveling height, and then you go to the final position. So when we go down, our z value, uh, our elevation become is equal to 9 cm off the ground. Then we can have the uh, robot. So we can have the grass with two to close up the end factors. And then we will go up again to ensure that we are within the safe enough for the robot to travel because if it's too low you can actually damage the tool so from here we can just copy this three uh for the next three lines and then we'll just cut the final position into the uh these four lines but here we will release two so release with two right let's the test okay looks good let's give it a try okay should be
right? And it should land at us. Oops. <laughs> All right, so we didn't define our robot to go down. Okay, let's edit that for a moment. And up, okay, so it should be end down. And there's a typo here, so that's not good. And down. This should be end up. Okay, yeah, let's give it a, another try. Alright, so it works. So that will be our first uh, simple pick and place program. Hi, so we are back again. So now we will go over to the more difficult example of the pick and place. So in this pick and place, we can find all our parameters first. And in this pick and place, you don't have to define the up and down of the robot because we already uh, because I already included inside the this function called pick and place. So overall main program, similar to the previous pick and place program, we will define our starting coordinate and uh, our final coordinate of where we want to put the box. And then we can define how many boxes uh there are in the in the playing field here. And then we can define what's the what's the spaces between each boxes. And we can also uh, choose a different mode here. So, mode zero is for x increment. Mode uh, mode one is for the y increment, and mode two for the z increment. And over here, I have some functions. So the home is actually function where we can just call out and position the robot to a home position, which is twenty five. 25 by 25, which is somewhere around here. And we can define the height of the home position. So in this case, uh, we define 10. So it, it will, uh, the robot will move to this location with a height of 10. And then over here, we will initiate our pick and place uh, function. So in this pick and place, uh, similar to the previous one, uh, we'll have a... So initially the box will go to the home position first and then he will move to pick up location, startup location. Once he goes to the startup location, he will go down and pick up the object. And then we have to go up again towards a safe a safer traveling uh safer traveling position where we can move the robot. And then it will go to the home position again and then it will go to the uh, to the drop off location where the robot will go down and drop the object and then finally go back going back up again and then uh, so in this final line here because we are in a for loop we will increment the initial and final position by the increment that we have defined here by 10 cm each time for over here for i in the range of box so in this box here it is referring to the number of boxes that we have defined here. So, uh, how many times it will go, it depends on this. Uh, the number of box you have defined in the uh, in the program. And then we have this uh, convert data function. It's similar to the previous one. Okay, let's. So, we can start arranging our boxes where we want it to be. So, imagine if we are in a factory, we have this. Uh, just lined up like this. So in total, we have okay. We just we take three boxes, and then we want it to arrange them like this. Maybe here. So we just take a reference, right? So this will be our starting position, and that will be our final. And the incremental it will be incremented by five cm, right? So. Our starting coordinates can be so 35, 30, 35, 30, 35, 30, 25, 20. Okay, so it's starting of 20. We was and then the height of the height of 10. We can ignore the z value here because it will be overwritten in the pick and place function. 
Right, so we have our starting coordinate and let's define the end. So we'll start off at 35, 30, at 25, oh wait, sorry, 0 for x, 25 for y. Alright, and then we have rotate the, we also rotate the end factors to 0. And then, so far just now we have defined and we should set the incremental to 5. Okay, good. So for the mode one, mode one will be M one. So mode one will be zero because we want to increment to the x increment, and for the final position will be mode one where we will increment it in the y direction. So for the mode one, since we will be going to the positive direction. Yes, it's correct. So it's plus 5. Okay. Then we also want to increment in the positive direction. So it's plus 5. So if it's the other way around, it should, it should be a negative. So okay, we have defined everything. So let's just place our boxes. Like so. And let's start program. Alright, so that is the uh, how it works for our second uh, pick and place. So thank you for watching and see you next video on Nets. Uh.